Hello and welcome to the rink at Old York Road for another edition of Temple Owls Ice Hockey. I'm JJ Mahalski here with Jay Niemeyer. We'll be on the call for this game tonight against the Westchester University Golden Rams. Temple comes into this game 3-11-1-0, currently riding an eight consecutive loss streak. Westchester comes into this game 7-3-0-1. These teams have met once before this year. It was a 5-4 game, I believe, right? Temple taking the loss in that one, 5-4. Jay, what's one thing that needs to improve for this Temple team tonight? Defense, for sure. They're letting uh, so many shots on net. Uh, over 44 per game average, which is way above the league average. That's That's got to change. Jay, last week at last Friday on the call, Dylan and I talked a lot about getting the younger guys involved, getting the third and fourth lines out there. How could that help the top lines on this hockey team to really improve the play of this Al's team? Do you think that'll help at all? Oh, absolutely. It means the top line isn't as fatigued towards the end of the game. All right, we have the puck drop here. Temple winning that draw off the opening faceoff. Giazza with the puck now, moving up quickly. Giazza into the corner. Throwing it along the boards there. Pass in front. Oh, if there'd been a guy there for that, that loose puck. Westchester with the puck now. Coming around. Moving up to the ice towards Temple Net. They dump it out <coughs> towards the center of the ice. Temple's Top. already switched their defensive pairing. Looks like. Got uh, Ian Bowles and Max Hacker out. Quick, quick change. Westchester passing it to mid-ice, but it's intercepted there. Temple now fighting along the boards, looking to get the puck. Temple shooting on the far side of the ice. Westchester coming towards you on the near side. Westchester in control of the puck now. The Golden Rams moving up the ice. They'll dump it in and get a line change. Ian Bowles getting the puck for his team, passing it over to Jack Pierce. Pierce dumping it off to Giazza. Giazza unable to clear. Westchester with the puck at the point. Just a quick correction, JJ. That's uh, Max Tucker out there. Number 19. Shot there. No trouble for Shelley. Matt Shelley in goal for the Owls tonight. Coming into tonight, he has played 10 games for this Owls team. Benjamin Auerbach still out with an um, injury. And Matt Shelley right now, his record 2-7 with an 8-6-2 save percentage. Temple right now struggling on defense to clear the puck. Now they're looking to move the puck somewhere as Skater goes down to the ground. Oh, what a block. And that's a block there by number 42, Ian Bowles. Bowles with the block to save the goal and help out his goaltender. Temple moving up the ice now. Shot off the body into the corner. Looks like if uh, Ondek had been a left-handed shooter, that could have been a tap-in from the that, rebound. That shot coming from the stick of number 10, Brendan Ondek. Ondek playing in his first game back from his injury last weekend. This is his first game back at home. One of the top scorers in the ACHA last season. The leading scorer on this team, Ondek, certainly a great piece to this offense to have back. That one goes out of the zone. Westchester will have to go back to avoid offsides. And Temple will get a line change. That one deflected off the boards by Garrett Elmer. Elmer with the hit. Ferguson to clear the puck for his team. Elmer now in pursuit. Elmer knocks the puck down. Dumps it into the zone. That one sails back to the board. Westchester back to recover. Temple with the save. Puck deep in Temple zone right now. Westchester in possession. Temple fighting to get the puck back. Still fighting. Temple doing a pretty good job here of uh, keeping it in the zone. Uh, looks like we got a penalty. We will have our first penalty of the night. Temple is going to go on the PubWeb power play for the first time tonight, it appears. We're going to get you a number on that penalty. It looks like hasn't been put up on the scoreboard I think yet. that might be number 11. Possibly number 11 of Westchester. That would yep. be... Not seeing a number 11 on my sheet for Westchester. We'll try to get a name for you on that penalty as Westchester clears the puck down. Matt Shelley 
picks up the puck, dumps it off, and Ryan Trevs with the puck now, moving up the ice before the Owls. Trevs moving in a circle, looking to get the breakout pass. That it's pass goes long far. of the stick of number 10, Brendan Ondick, and Trevs back to get the puck again. 16 minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this first period. We're scoreless so far. On Dick with the puck now. Moving up, racing up the ice. Offsides is waved off there. On Dick continues to hold on to it. He's a great asset to the T on the, on the power play. Trevs to On Dick. On Dick towards the goal. Deflected away and knocked out there by the Golden Rams. Westchester coming up the ice. One on two. Trevs back to play defense. And Trevs recovers that body. puck. Westchester trying to get back on defense. Temple with a good opportunity here. Five on four. One minute left on the power play. That one pass to Giazza. Goes all the way into the Westchester zone. Westchester's going to just clear that one down. And Matt Shelley's there to freeze the puck. As Westchester chases in. Jay, what's one thing that you're noticing early in this game? What's one thing Temple can do a little bit better on? And what's one thing that Temple's doing really well right now? Well, they're doing really well with carrying into the uh, into the zone on this power play. That's all Brendan Ondick. As for something to do better, just control it when you don't have it. Ondick on the ice. Luke Berchowski winning that faceoff for his team. Berchowski with the two goals last Friday night for his team. The only two goals in that game against Villanova. Certainly the Owls will look for the sophomore to step up for them tonight. Westchester clears the puck again. 30 seconds left on this pub web power play. Shelley gets the puck. And Trevs is back to receive it. Trevs up the ice now. Passing it off. Passes that one to Will Green. Puck is intercepted. Fighting along the boards for that one. And Ondick gets the puck. He actually misses it there. Trevs down into the corner. Westchester dumps it in now. Power play over. Back to 5-on-5 five five hockey. And we're going to have icing right there. On this team for Westchester, le the leading goal scorer coming into the night is number 26, Joey Kubaka. He has 13 goals scored for his team, resulting in 19 points. Dangerous on the power play as he has five goals. Char Charles Giazza in the faceoff circle. Giazza is uh, Temple's leading scorer so far at 18 points, 11 of those being goals. And we'll have another penalty here as Ondick hits the ice on that, I believe. Uh, looks like that was Max Hucker. Excuse me, Max Hucker, number 19, hitting the ice on that one. Temple will go back on the power play into the box for the Golden Rams is number 22, Jake Horacek. Horacek, 10 goals on this season, 14 penalty minutes coming in tonight. He'll have 16 at the conclusion of this power play for the Owls, their second pub web power play of the night. Man, Trust just allowed Westchester to chase him all the way back into his blue line. Press back over to Giazza, moving over to Ondick on the left side. Westchester, and Westchester clears. gets the clear there. Shelley back to get the puck for his team. Ondick up the ice now, moving in. Still controlling the puck. Gets a shot off there, hits off the body of the Westchester goalkeeper. In goal tonight for the Golden Rams is number one, Braden Colgan. Colgan this season with a 9.17 save average. The Owls certainly hope to get something past him. Temple with pressure again, and that one there finds the is. back of the net. What a goal for the Owls, a power play goal. Something Temple has been great on this season offensively. Oh, Their power play offense has been fantastic. And with one minute and four seconds left on the power play, Temple strikes first. They lead Westchester one to zero. This is a great thing for the morale of the team. Definitely to get on the board first is very important. And for it to come from the captain is just great leadership from Giazza. Charles Giazza picking up that goal. That will be Giazza's 12th goal of the season. 
And what a time for the Owls. They now lead Westchester 1-0. As we mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, Temple and Westchester have faced each other before. Westchester picking up the win in that one 5-4. A different team from the Owls now, but they're on the board first, and that's all that matters. Temple looking to clear, but Westchester looking to get back on Temple. Jared Givon with the puck, clearing it out of the zone for the Owls there. Had Pinella stalking up along that uh, high blue line, trying to get a quick pass in and get past uh, Westchester defense and hopefully get a breakaway. What didn't work this time. That puck goes out of bounds there. The scoreboard says that there is still a power play going on, but Temple and Westchester back to five on five hockey right now. Into the circle to take the face off. It's number 88, Luke Burchowski. Burchowski losing that one to Westchester. And the Golden Rams will make a rush up the ice now. Clearing it down. Save there by Ian Bowles. Bowles dumps it back in. Westchester trying to get rid of the puck. Unable to. A Westchester player hits the ice and Temple gets the puck back. Moving it to the outside. Up for the Owls. That's Garrett Elmer. Elmer into the boards. Looks like is that Will Green join him? Yeah, that's Will Green joining him on the board battle. Westchester moving the puck across the ice, getting a shot off, and Shelley flashes the glove and makes a save. Really the first shot that Shelley has faced uh, tonight. Mm -hmm. And that's yep. certainly that's something needed to some certainly something Temple needed to work on after last, last week's game. As Shelley faced almost fifty shots in that game against Villanova. I think the final count was an even fifty, uh, and yeah, that's that just wears the goalie down. Temple wins that draw, dumbing the puck out now. Van Allen to get the puck, he gives it up though. Westchester moving the puck now. Giazza makes the defensive recovery for the Owls and moves the puck up. Great job of the Owls to step up right now. Giazza with another shot, goes wide. Westchester making a rush up, that pass is long and Ferguson is there to get the puck for the Owls. Jason Ferguson, the oldest member of this Temple Owls team, 30 years old. Took more than one gap year, I guess. Absolutely. Westchester with a shot there. That one goes wide to Shelley. Van Allen collects it and then gets crunched. That puck stops at the Westchester blue line. Westchester with the puck now, moving towards the Temple goal. Into the zone. Puck checked away by Zimbricki. We that had uh, Zimbricki, Giazza, and Ferguson all right on him. That was number six. Tiernan Sen Senegan. 11 games played so far for Westchester this season. Temple gets the puck there. Westchester quick to get it back, and Temple quick to get it back from Westchester. Now a little bit of a board battle. Westchester establishes possession. We're going to see a Westchester power play coming up after this. There's a Westchester player on the ice. Russell is just going to make things worse for himself. And Garrett Russell continues to hold the Westchester player down and out of the play. He'll take two minutes into the box. That's going to be two minutes for interference. Garrett Russell taking the penalty there for the Owls. He has 16 total penalty minutes coming into tonight. He'll have 18 after this one. Jay, Jay, what do you think about him holding holding that Westchester player down to the ice and keeping him out of play? Is that a smart play, already taking the penalty at that point, or do you let him up? Uh, I'd let him up. I mean, if you keep him down, you can get uh, extra penalty added on, even a misconduct or uh, unsportsmanlike. We're actually going to see two penalties up on the board right now, but we see five Westchester players on the ice, so I believe Temple will be going on the Richie's power kill. Penalty kill. Penalty kill for the first time tonight. Andrew Kaiser in the circle to take the draw for the Owls, and he wins it. Trev's back to get it there. And Westchester moving the puck around now. On the penalty kill for this first unit, we've got Smedley, Ondek, Kayser, and as always, Captain Ryan Truss.
Trev's with a poke check there. And we'll have a, bo a battle along the boards. Westchester pokes it out. Westchester moving it to the point. Back to Sinigan. Sinigan moving it forward. That one almost oh, cleared almost. by Ondik. Sinigan across the ice. Shot on goal goes high and wide. Just over the left shoulder of Shelly. Shot back. That one goes wide again. Left Shot coming again. from the stick of number 26, Joey Kubaka. Kubaka with the puck again. One minute left on this power on this power kill. Power play for the Golden Rams. There's a shot there, and that one finds the back Four. of the net. Score there by number six, Tiernan Senegan. Jay, what went wrong for the Owls right there? Uh, they got a little bit still at uh, at the wrong wrong point of the kill. There's nothing wrong with uh, staying still when you, when it's the right time, but that was not the right time to stay still. They needed to push uh, push him on that uh, corner didn't help that uh, as they were standing still, they uh, accidentally ended up uh, taking away Shelly's eyes. Jay, early on here, we're exchanging two power play goals, one for Westchester, one for Temple. We're tied here at one. Power play certainly been effective for both teams. Giazza into the circle to take the draw. Westchester wins it. Now they're with the puck. Looking at the cross ice pass there, that one's blocked away. Just 10 minutes left in this first period tonight. We're halfway through. That one goes wide to Shelley. Westchester wins the race down the ice. That one to the point. And that's cleared by Temple. Westchester to get the puck. Moving back. And the Owls looking to make an offensive rush. They save the puck there. Moving it towards the net. There's a shot by Giazza. It's blocked away. There's a shot on net again. That rebound unable to be grabbed. Westchester now coming up the ice. Westchester player hits the ice, no penalty there. He just tripped up. Ian Bowles to the outside. Westchester coming in on a breakaway. And great Good recovery by there Ian by Bowles. Ian Bowles. Giazza moving up the ice now, passing it out to Van Allen. Van Allen with the puck. Looking to get a shot off, he does take a shot. That one's gloved up by Colgan. Braden Col Colgan. Westchester right now has a 5-2-0 record on the road. Temple at home, 3-5-0. No surprise that Westchester's power play was working tonight. Looking at 32% success rate on that. That's good for number 29 in the ACHA. And that's certainly going to go up after tonight, after that goal coming just a few moments ago. Temple and Westchester tied at one. Here's a chance for the Owls. Goes wide there. Net comes off of its moorings. We'll have a stoppage of play with eight minutes and 13 seconds left in the first period. One big positive for the Owls so far is that they're leading on the shot total. Uh, they're usually uh, getting doubled up. This time they're the team doubling up on the uh, opponents with an eight to four advantage. Someone's glove on the ice there. Picking it up, there's a shattering shot. Shelly Good split save. Puts, pushes the net off of its moorings with that kick save. The ref giving Shelly a little bit of a talk there, thinking it might have been intentional by Shelly. I don't think it was. I think he just mm -hmm. pushed off very aggressively to get yeah. back to his um, right side there, or excuse left me, side. Left, left side, and use that blocker for the next save, trying to square up to the puck. No worry there for the Owls. Andrew Kaiser in take the draw. Kaiser wins it for the Owls, pushes it back towards the board. Boards, Zimbricki moving the puck along the boards. Pass back to, Fowler, to Sean Fowler. Fowler falls to the ground there. And that puck dumped in. Picked back up by Thomas Zimbricki. Zimbricki to Ferguson. Ferguson back to Zimbricki. And Andrew Kaiser able to clear that puck to Brendan Ondick. Ondick moving up the puck. Sh shot there. Fowler. 
Ferguson unable to get hands on that puck. And it's cleared away there by Ryan Trevs. On Dick with the puck again. Certainly getting a lot of action in this one. He's been out with a, for a while with an injury. Coming back last weekend, this team's best offensive player, I would say. He's one of the league's best uh, on the offensive side of the puck, really. That puck cleared away by the Owls. We'll see an icing call with six minutes and 54 seconds left in the first period. I said that Temple had a 3-5-0 record again. I'd like to correct that. They actually have a 1-5-0 record. I believe the ACHA is considering those games from the City 6 in that home record as well. Interesting. Yep, it was a neutral site, technically. Westchester shot blocked away there. Picked up. Temple moving the puck up the ice now. That one passed back, collected by Ryan Trevs. Trevs moves it up, looking for Will, Will Green. Green. Trevs with the puck again. That one blocked away. Blocked away by Michael Crowley. And then a shot. Coming from number 26, the dangerous goal scorer, Joey Kubaka. Shelley able to glove that one up and stop Great play. Great rebound control by that one. If that had been a rebound, it could have been dangerous. Uh, good on him for uh, keeping, it, keeping it tight to his body. Jay Temple, better on defense tonight, getting a lot more fresh legs out there. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a good thing. There's a centering thing. pass, that one oh, goes wide. Shot came from number 23 of Westchester. They move the puck now down the boards. Collected there by Senegan. Sen hmm, what do we got here? And we're going to um, see a penalty called, I believe. Uh, we're going to see Berchowski go to the board, for go to the box for two minutes, rather. We'll get you what that penalty was for. Didn't quite see it in the mix-up of play there. Mm, Just it was away from the play for sure, so my guess is interference or roughing. Interference, but Westchester goes back on the power play. We'll actually see two penalties here, so we're going to have four-on-four four hockey. Also going to the box for Westchester's Joey Kubaka. So no one on the power play. And we'll have four-on-four four hockey for two minutes. Giazza winning that draw. Ian Bowles moving up. Giazza back to get the puck. Oh, bad giveaway through the middle there by uh, Bowles. This may be four on four, but it's played like uh, playing like uh, Westchester has the advantage. Absolutely. And here's a chance in the slot for Westchester, but they don't take a shot. Moving it to the top of the key. Shot there is blocked away. Derek Samedi, a lot of action for him right now, touching the puck for Westchester. That one almost clears the blue line, but does not. Temple unable to clear their lines. Now they're going to move up the ice. That one hits off the skate. Number 25, Nick Van Allen. If that had hit his blade, he would have been away for a breakaway. Westchester gets a line change. Three players up in the offensive zone for them right now. Nick Van Allen stops that rush. Westchester kicks it back. That one hits off the side of the netting. Temple gets a breakout pass now, almost finding the puck to go between the legs there. 45 seconds left on the four on four. Chance there for Westchester. That one going wide of the net. Westchester moving the puck around very well right now and Shelly's gonna stop play. Get some fresh legs out there for the Owls on defense. 30 seconds remaining on these power on these penalties. Quick whistle, looks like we got a missed draw. So we'll do it again off to Shelley's right. That's Andrew Kaiser in to take the face off for the Owls. Andrew Kaiser in the circle for the Owls. Westchester will switch out players. 
It was number 16, Harry Lane in there, but he's kicked out. Trevs back with the puck now. Moving it up to Ondik. Shelly reaching out with a stick, try to stop that one. Trevs. Over to Kyle Smedley. Trevs moves it up there. Andrew Kaiser deflecting that one. Ondik deflecting that one. Trevs finally gets possession for the Owls. Penalties are off now. Back to five on five hockey. Humming off the bench for the Owls, number 77, Sean Fowler. Westchester moving up now. Fowler playing defense. Everyone clearing the puck there for Smedley. Kyle Smedley throws it to Trevs. Trevs unable to get a stick on it. Now one. No offsides there. Kyle Smedley into the corner. That puck moved back. Looking for Trevs. Trevs dumps it into a body. And that's Sean Fowler to calm it down, carry it through. Sean the Fowler dumping a shot on goal there. That one a little bit of chaos right before the puck came out. A lot of dump and run hockey right now. Maybe some tired legs at the end of this first period with three minutes left. Braden Colgan clears his line there. Westchester moving the puck out now. Passing it to the far side of the ice. Dumping it off. Looking at a shot. There's a shot that's Wonderful saved save. by Shelley with the glove. On the ice right now for the Owls, Brachowski, Ferguson. Greens and Brookie, we just Looks have Looks like we have six men the on the ice right now. Two players going off though. Excuse me, we had seven on the ice. Two players go off, we now have five. A Little bit of confusion there for the Owls. Ferguson wasn't aware that they were going through a line change. That one goes out. We'll have an offsides call. And a draw near mid ice. In to take the draw for the Owls, number 88, Luke Brachowski. Brachowski wins it there. Moving the puck up the ice. Diving attempt there to keep possession. Westchester, the Golden Rams coming up now. Hard pass to the stick there. Temple able to get rid of that one. Westchester with an opportunity now. Blocked away at the feet. That one, going back out towards the slot. In the right slot now. Shot comes from there. Another Blocked great away. block. Temple helping out Matt Shelley tonight. Getting a lot of blocks. Mm -hmm. Matt Shelley really hasn't had too many saves to make. And that's why we're tied here 1-1. With two minutes left in the first period. Huge hit there. For the Golden Rams. <coughs> Westchester moving up now. That one blocked away by Ryan Trebs. Tiernan set again with the puck. Westchester losing the puck there. Temple almost recovering. Both teams get a line change. Giaz out on the ice. Ferguson out of the ice. Trev's out on the ice. And we're gonna see an interesting last minute and 30 as teams both begin to build momentum here. Nick Van Allen into the corner to pressure that. That one going wide. Down at the net. That was Ryan Trev's helping out Matt Shelley. Trev's gets a recovery there for the Owls. Ferguson gives it to Van Allen. That puck to the outside now. Van Allen with the puck along the boards, passing it off to Giazza. Giazza dumps it into the zone. Moving the puck up now. Westchester, here they come. Ferguson, oh, man. unable to make the block. That one going high on the crossbar. Shelly able to knock it away with the glove, but not able to catch it. Flex Under a minute to play possession. now. Block there. Puck still in the zone for Westchester. Giazza. With the puck along the boards, unable to get control of it. He gives it up there. Yeah, he's just trying to swing it back now around. Now that's Thomas Zimbricki. Zimbricki moving the puck up to Van Allen. And here come the Golden Rams falling to the ground there. 30 seconds left. Shelley tries to block that one away. He does. Unable to stop it, though. And that puck moved up to Garrett Russell. Garrett Russell not in the play there. Skating with his head up, didn't see the puck go by him. Westchester moves in. No shot there. Puck along the side of the net. 
Ferguson fighting off two Westchester players. 10 seconds left now. Temple just looking to clear their line. They're going to go on a rush. Looking to get one final shot off before the horn sounds. There's a shot. And that one goes off to the side. Saved there by Braden Colgan. Temple and Westchester going into the first intermission. Tied here at one. Play tonight at the rink at Old York Road. Temple versus Westchester. Tied at one going into the first intermission. But don't go away. We're coming up with an intermission report. Taylor Snyder and Jay Niemeyer are on the intermission report. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Old York Ice Rink in North Philadelphia. I'm Taylor Snyder, joined here by Jay Niemeyer, bringing you the intermission report. Jay saw a lot of good things out of the Owls there in that first period, specifically the goaltending play of Matt Sheely. He looked very content today. What have you seen out of Sheely in net, and how are the Owls defending the puck so well tonight? Uh, Sheely is just really, really good on his rebound control. He is honestly one of the best goalkeepers I've seen in terms of keeping the puck when it, it – he, he keeps the puck stick, stuck to him. Uh, it's also really interesting. He's a right-hand uh, catcher. Uh, most of the leagues are left-hand catch. So it looks like uh, Westchester has been trying to go on his left side, and it's, uh, his block is still good. Uh, as for uh, Temple is suppressing the shots, yeah, they're, they're getting their bodies in, going all out on the dive to uh, keep the puck away from the danger areas. Physically tonight, not quite as, uh, let's say, a little bit less uh, or a little bit more friendly fire tonight playing Westchester in comparison to Villanova. Mm -hmm. Villanova was a hard-hitting game. We saw a lot of feuds being exchanged. What have you seen around, uh, for the Owls tonight with the forecheck and physical play at the boards? What have, uh, I mean, yeah, less, less aggression, honestly, uh, is good for the Owls. It means they're not getting distracted, not getting fatigued, uh, trying to... Uh, out hit their opponent they can just focus on getting the puck and using their body to protect the puck instead of to just be aggressive the aggressor on dick back in the lineup tonight for the owls playing pretty well out there obviously first game back a little rusty what did you see out of him so far in this uh really smooth skating great handling he's he can carry take the puck in the owls defensive zone and take it all the way up to the uh, opponent's net on his own if he wants to which is uh Real, real good asset for the Owls. Charles Giazza got the scoring started tonight for the Owls. Temple jumped out to a one nothing lead. Westchester responded with a goal of their own. Westchester had a series of power plays there, but Temple were able to defend them off well. If you're head coach Mark Spies right now, Jay, what are you telling your team in the locker room in order to keep this game going the way it is? Uh, definitely keep up with the discipline. Uh, fewer, few penalties as possible because uh, the power play of Westchester is incredibly effective. So just... Don't take penalties. Don't retaliate if they're trying to get you to take penalties. And if you're going to take the penalty, accept it. Don't talk back. Obviously, Ondik back in the lineup tonight. Do you have your eyes on anyone here in the second period? Uh, I think Sean Fowler impressed me uh, a couple times when he got on the ice. He uh, had some good uh, skating legs under him as well. Fowler and Bachowski, very physical out there tonight. Mm -hmm. Jay, what is going to be the key to the Owls' victory here heading into the second and third periods? Uh, cohesive, cohesive passing. I think that that rush in the last 10 seconds of the first period that the Owls were able to generate was, looked really impressive. They were moving together as a unit. They all knew what they were doing, where they were going, and where they were going was to the net. Lowest scoring game here at the York after one period for Temple all season. Very interesting. Usually the Owls are always usually behind a lot or they're ahead a lot. Tonight it's even match, Jay. You said you want to see a lot of cohesiveness out there. What do the Owls have to do in the second to keep defending the puck well? Communicate. Communication is key to got to know who's got that puck and once you got it, where it's going. Sounds good. That'll do it here from the old York ice rink from Taylor Snyder and Jay Niemeyer. JJ Michalski and Jay Niemeyer are going to be back on the call here in just a moment. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back for second period action here at the rink at Old York Road. I'm joined this period not by James Niemeyer but instead by number 52 of the Temple Ice Hockey Team, Connor Lordi. Connor, you're an exercise and sports science major, played hockey in high school and now you're on the Temple team. How you doing tonight, buddy? 
Uh, I'm doing great. You know, the the boys are having a good night. We're uh, we're one 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 here in the after the first period, and uh, the boys just look really good tonight. Um, it's been a struggle the past couple of weeks, but I think we're we're starting to find our juice and and really uh, get going here. Awesome. Giazzo with the puck and a quick shot there to start off the second period. Temple now leads on the shots, 10-9. to nine. Connor, you guys certainly look better on defense tonight. What changed this week during practice to make that adjustment? Um, I think it's just the guys kind of figuring out that we need just to have a little bit more fun and uh, be more relaxed with the puck, just uh, keeping it simple. Uh, that's something that we really kind of strive to do, and we haven't been able to do it recently, but... Yeah, um, I think we're just starting to, to get used to playing with each other. It was tough in the beginning of the season, but um, just everyone kind of finding their spot in the lineup and, and uh, figuring out how everyone else plays. Um, just everything's kind of working out for us right now. Awesome. Temple moving back now to pick up the puck. Westchester got a couple of shots off there on Matt Shelley. Shelley's been in goal for the past few games. Ben Auerbach is out with an injury. Shots now tied at 10. We're tied on the scoreboard, one to one, Westchester and Temple. Westchester in the zone now, trying to work out the puck. Temple moving the puck along the boards. Looks like they might win this battle as Giazza knocks a Westchester player to the ice there. Giazza with a little bit of stick lift, saves the puck, but that one's gonna go off sides as Giazza was already in the zone before Garrett Russell began to take the puck in. Connor, I was talking to Coach before the game, and he said you guys were trying to have a little more fun. You guys went bowling yesterday, I heard. How, how was that? Did that help to improve the morale of the team a little bit? Uh, actually, a little funny story. Um, we A couple of the guys uh, drove over to the bowling alley, and uh, the bowling alley was actually closed for business. Um, we didn't know that, but we found out from a Yelp review on online. So uh, a couple of the guys kind of just went back to the house, and uh, we were just hanging out, playing some card games, and... You know, just getting ready for the game today. So, um, not really what we wanted, but kind of got the same result. Just team bonding and uh, having the guys just kind of get used to having fun together. So, hard battle along the boards here, right in front of us. Fowler and Ondick working the puck out as Fowler as Fowler's knocked to the ground there by Michael Petri Petrioni. Temple dumps the puck in there. No penalty for that cross checking there. Fowler. A little bit of angry, getting back at it. Westchester getting the puck out of the Temple zone now. Temple moving up now, dumps it into the zone. And it's cleared away there by the Westchester goalkeeper, Braden Colgan. All the way down the ice for the Owls now, picking it up, dumping it to the corner. And Temple now starts their rush, intercepted there by Westchester. Moving the puck across. Westchester to the outside, back to the middle. In possession of the puck. Ryan Hollingshead. Westchester moves it up now, gets a shot there. Shot finds the back of the net. On the rebound, Westchester puts themselves up with 16 minutes and 45 seconds left in this second period. They now lead this game two to one. They lead shots 12 to 11. Westchester putting themselves up there. And Connor, what did you notice on that play? Um, I think we got a little too eager at the, uh, at the blue line. We had too many guys uh, kind of step forward, and they just kind of got a break. Um, you know, the, the game's just been even the whole time, though. I think we've, we've had really good defensive play. And uh, just it's, it, it's one of those games where the little things are going to matter. Um, you know, you step up on the wrong play. You don't get a good, good handle Temple on the Temple with puck. a good chance now. That finds the back of the net. No goal oh. is waved off as it was hit. It hit the post, I believe. Great shot by Will Green in front of the net. Excellent shot there by Green. I definitely thought that one was in. Maybe a little bit of replay review might say that one found to the back of the net. I agree that that one looked a little close. Braden Colgan catching a break there. Certainly something yeah. you might want to look back on on Absolutely. the uh, on the tape. Will Green with a nice shot there from the right side of the net. And that's exactly what we want to see out of this Temple offense. In to take the draw now, it's Luke Burchowski. That puck back, picked up by the Owls, wraps it around. 
Westchester picks it up. That puck getting tangled up with the ref. Temple finally able to clear, and here come the Owls once again. Drop pass there, no shot yet. Shot there, finds the back of the net. Number 84, Garrett Elmore. Finds the second goal for the Owls in this one. Temple and Westchester tied it two. That goal there by Elmer just shows you how good our uh, our youth is. Um, we got we got a couple of guys coming in in their freshman year, uh, transfer students that are just showing up big here, um, breaking the lineup, getting on the first and second line, and producing like that. It's just it's great. That's what you want to see with a team coming up, especially with a lot of younger guys. Great chance there for Elmer, and Elmer makes up for the one that hit off the crossbar by Will Green just a couple of minutes ago. Temple Westchester even back up at two. You guys met this Westchester team once before this season. What's changed since that matchup? Um, we've had uh, not too many changes in the lineup. Uh, I think our biggest thing right now is just our mentality. Um, uh, morale in the locker room hasn't been that great lately, but it's one of those things that we're working on. Um, and that's our biggest thing right now, just trying to get all the guys on the same page and uh, just trying to support each other. That's the biggest thing. And, and I think in the past week or so, we've, we've had a much better support system with the guys just being there for each other. So it's really showing off in this game. Have you noticed any difference at all in um, the, the Westchester team that you're playing tonight? Do they seem any different from the last time you played them? Um, Westchester seems to be very consistent. Um, one thing that you'll see out of them game in and game out is just a very, very good physical presence. Uh, they're very quick and they're good with the puck, especially their first line. Uh, they're, I believe their first three players have the, or their uh, first line, three guys in the first line have the most points on the team. And um, it kind of just shows you where we have to be. And uh, a couple of these guys we actually know. I, I played with a couple of these guys in youth hockey. And, and you know, even back then, it was, was one of those things where you saw them as a, as a threat. And uh, it's kind of cool seeing them at the next level here uh, doing exactly what you, uh, you expect them to do. Westchester pushing into the zone there. There's a slap shot from the outside. Blocked away by the Owls. The bench getting a little rowdy from Matt Shelley in another save. That one kicks off the board. Good chance there for the Owls. No one was in the middle of the ice, though. But Braden Colgan had left the net. Temple recovering the puck now, but that one's too far for Ryan Trevs to get to as Trevs is knocked down by Colgan. A stop by Smedley at the blue line. It's going to come the other way. Offsides waved off there as I believe that's Trevs into the corner to pick up the puck. Temple moving the puck now behind Shelley. And they'll start a breakout. Pass to the outside. Intercepted there and cleared away by Colgan. But dumped back in by Temple. And there's a hit there by number seven, 77, excuse me, Sean Fowler. Temple gets another recovery. And here's a chance for the Owls as he's off of his line. The puck being shot around. Lots of players around that one. Temple unable to find the back of the net. Yeah, Andek had a few good opportunities there. It looked like he had two or three on the right off the pad of the Westchester goalie here. Risky plays here by Braden Colgan. That one's centered and shot wide by Fowler. Trev's unable to get to the puck. Fowler lays a little bit of a hit there as Ondik saves the puck, centering pass, and a shot from Andrew Kaiser. Westchester back up the ice now. Puck into the corner. And the ref blows his whistle as the net comes off of its moorings. Connor, you talked a few minutes ago about getting more of your younger guys involved. Has, has that been affected at all this week? Um, I, I noticed that you guys are starting to get a few more of your third and fourth lines out there, giving the first and second lines more of a break during gameplay. 
Uh, yeah, I think that that stems back from the um, the interview that you guys had with uh, Coach Mark Spies, um, where he talked about how the younger guys need to step up and uh, they they get opportunities to um, get put in a position where they're playing more minutes, they're getting more time, especially with the um, the injuries that we've had in the past couple of weeks. But um, I think them showing kind of what they can do on the ice, give, given those minutes, um, I think that's played a big a big impact on on. Uh, kind of coming into these games and how they're gonna how they're gonna be put out into the ice so here comes Temple up the ice shot there is pushed away Temple looking to get the puck now Westchester moving around in their zone Zimbricki back to get the puck that one to the blue line will go out we're gonna see an offsides call here, I believe. Well, no offsides, but it would have been offsides if anyone touched the puck. Westchester now moves into the zone. And Westchester finds the back of the net. They beat Matt Shelley for a third time tonight. Looks like it was scored by number 25, Derek Zerby. Looks like that's gonna be his first goal of the season, uh, along with his first point of the season. First goal there for number 25, Derek Zerby. Yes, that is indeed his first goal of the season. Temple right now out shooting Westchester 17 to 14, but Westchester leads where it matters, three to two Golden Rams. That one along the boards now. Westchester looking to get a shot off. That one goes wide to Shelley. Westchester along the boards now. Good we'll see a stoppage of play here. There's a pass to the outside there. Westchester moving in now. Westchester with the puck now. And Temple getting the puck back. Westchester moving all the way back now, dumping it off along the boards, and it will be cleared there by Harry Lane. Ref has his arm up. I believe that's icing. We'll see an offensive draw here for the Owls. Connor, you're facing a team in Westchester that's been effective 32% of the time, 29th in the ACHA on their power play. How do you guys prepare for that? Um, just working on power play and penalty kill in practice. Uh, just kind of getting the reps in. That's. Um kind of all we can do is just kind of see what see what happens in the game and uh, adjust where we need to but I think our um, our penalty kill has been pretty good in the past couple of weeks so hopefully we just keep that going. Westchester moving deep into the zone now. He falls to the ice there. Temple got a couple of good shots there on that last possession. Now they're going to look to make another rush up. We're halfway through this second period. Westchester leads on the board. Three to two. This net down here looks like it is off of its moorings currently. Looked to be a little loose when Colgan moved back. We'll see another offensive draw for the Owls as that one's ruled icing. Temple leads in shots, 18 to six. And that's, that's certainly something that's changed for the Temple Owls this week. Last week being outshot, I believe 50 to 27 or 30, somewhere around that ballpark area. This Temple team able to get about 35 shots a game on net. You guys have been able to challenge the goaltender, but last Friday night, certainly something wasn't clicking for you guys, but it is back and clicking again tonight, Connor. Yes, I agree. Um, you know, it's just kind of one of those things where you have good nights and bad nights, and unfortunately, you know, the past couple of games for us have just been bad nights, but uh, getting shots on net, getting quality shots on net is uh, what's going to matter, and yeah, those quality shots going on net are uh, going to need to go in. 
Westchester working the puck around right now. Wrist shot from the outside. Rebound there. Sounded like it might have caught some metal. Mo puck moved to the other side of the ice. Now tossed behind the goal. And that net comes off of its moorings. An issue that we've had tonight. The third or fourth stoppage of play for a goal being knocked around. Both teams will get a line change here. With 9 minutes and 45 seconds left in the second period. Connor, the second period has been somewhere where you guys have sh struggled a little bit uh, uh, defensively. And you've given up a lot of second and third period goals. You've been strong in the first period at home. Any, any comment on that at all? Anything that you guys might, may have changed in practice to try to adjust that? As obviously tonight, this second period looking much better than it has in the past. Um, uh, I think it's that's more of a um, just a morality type of thing. It's it's more of a psychological game. Uh, when you come out strong in the first period and then um, you know things don't go your way, you just gotta think, hey, what are we gonna do better in the next period, and how are we gonna get going? So um, there's nothing really you can really do in practice. There, it's just it's all uh, mental, and just again, like I said earlier, the guys supporting each other. Max Hucker tripped up there, and Temple will go on the Pubweb power play. For the fourth time tonight, good opportunity here for the team to tie it up at three. Temple's going to be looking to get their power play, which has worked 12% of the time so far this year. They already have one power play goal tonight. They're going to look to get it working again. Going back to the box for the second time tonight for the Golden Rams, it's going to be number 11, Michael Petricioni. That's going to be for slashing. Temple in front of the net now. Good opportunity for the Owls. That net moving around still. No whistle by the ref. Temple fails to keep that one in the zone. And we'll get a whistle now. As Colgan knocks the net away. And the ref will readjust the goal. One minute and 40, oh, clock is currently ticking down right now. We'll get a time for you on the penalty once they're done with that. Looks to be about 1.30 left on the penalty for the Golden Rams. Temple will remain on the power play. And the top unit out there looking for a goal. Offensive draw is won there by the Owls. Pass to the high slot. Pass back to the slot. Looking to get a shot off. There's a shot. Deflected in front by Nick Van Allen. Goes wide. Giazza passes it off to Van Allen. Van Allen moving the puck. There's a shot that goes wide. Giazza there to receive the puck. Giazza moving it to the slot. There's a slap shot that goes wide. Ondik with the puck now. Moving it up to the top. Ondik with the puck. Looking to get a shot. There's a shot. Blocked away. Temple fighting for the puck in the corner. Van Allen into help. Ben Allen and Andrew Kaiser there. Pass across. Unable to be cleared by the Golden Rams. 45 seconds left on this power play. Temple gets a shot off. Van Allen's shot goes high. Van Allen working the front of the net right now. Getting good deflections in front. No offsides there for the Owls. They kept it in. Kept this power play alive. Here's a pass to Giazza. Giazza with the slap shot goes wide. Ondik with the puck now. 30 seconds left on the power play. Passing it off there. Giazza with the slap shot. That one deflects off of Colgan. We'll have a stoppage of play with 20 seconds left. Lots of shots there for the Owls. A good power play. Getting a lot of pressure, working the puck around. That's certainly something you want to see. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think we've struggled a lot with the power play. And, uh, you know, seeing the puck move around as much as it does, um, or as much as we, ju we just saw on that power play right there, uh, that's exactly what you want to see. Um, Trez is doing a nice job at the point there, moving the puck around. And, uh, you saw, you know, Andik and Kayser get a couple shots on, along with Van Allen in front of the net with a couple tips. Uh, you know, that's exactly what we're looking for. That's exactly what you need to, to score goals. That one.
dumped back into the zone for the Owls. And that will look to be the end of our Pubweb power play. Temple unable to strike, but a lot of offensive pressure on Braden Colgan. That went into the net now. Colgan out, moving the puck around, dumping it out to the boards. That one kept in by the Owls and then knocked out by Westchester. Seven minutes left to play in the second period. Temple trails Westchester three to two. They lead on the board in shots right now. I believe that says 31 to 17, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's 21. Tw 21, okay. 21 to 17 here in shots. 21 on shots. My apologies. A little bit hard to read the scoreboard here. The rink at Old York Road. And a new location for you guys this year, Connor. H how are you enjoying it so far? Uh, it's it's great. Um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of our own piece of the club right now. Um, we're one of the only teams that plays out of this rink. Uh, we have our own locker room, which is a nice amenity that a lot of uh, ACHA Division One teams don't have. So uh, being able to keep our gear here is really nice. Um, and ownership has been really nice as well, um, just helping us out with, with all the stuff that we need. So we, uh, we can't really ask for uh, much more. That offensive draw for Westchester going back down the ice. Now with the puck. That's number 23, Ryan Hollingshead. Hollingshead still with the puck. Moving it to Tiernan Senegan. Senegan moving the puck up the ice. Westchester into the corner now. The Golden Rams looking to set something up. There's a shot there. Cleared away by the Owls. Moved up the ice. That's actually a board pass. Here's a chance. That was Will Green into the corner. Will Green with the shot. And that's going to be a boarding call. As Garrett Elmer is knocked into the boards, I believe. Temple's going to go back on the power play. Just enough time for their first line to get a breather, get their legs back underneath of them. Six minutes left in this second period. Temple trails Westchester 3-2. to two. It looks like that call is going to be a board. Um, that, that, that's one of those penalties that you just you hate to see. Um, I think you see it too much, especially in this league, and I think that they need to be a little bit more strict on it. Um, it's just an easy way for guys to get hurt. That penalty will be assessed to number 27, Liam Klein, I believe. Uh, I believe that's actually number seven, uh, Colby Allen of the Westchester Golden Rams. Temple on the power play now. Moving the puck across. They'll set something up again. Westchester with a different look now. Putting pressure on Ryan Trevs at the top of the slot. Trevs dumped that one to Van Allen. Van Allen back to Ondick. Ondick unable to save the puck, and Trevs goes back to get it. Temple making a rush now. Giazza with the puck. Moving it back. To the point. Shot. Goes wide of the net. On Dick to get the puck. On Dick trying to put the moves on there. Unable to. Westchester clears the puck. Puck back to On Dick. On Dick moving it up now. Pass to the outside to Giazza. Giazza with the puck. Centering pass there goes long, but Ondik able to keep it in. Ondik to the top of the key. Point now. Dumped back to Ondik. Ondik back to Trevs. Giazza to the middle to Andrew Kaiser. There's a centering pass and a chance at a shot there. Temple unable to find the back of the net. Ryan Trevs goes back to get the puck with 30 seconds left on this power play. Andrew Kaiser getting the puck at center ice the good board work there by on dick nick van allen saving the puck giazza now with the puck looking to center it there knocked away by the golden rams seven seconds left six seconds left five seconds left and this power play will come to an end for the owls not as strong as their last one but certainly progress from what we've seen so far this season for Temple. As Westchester makes a rush now, Matt Shelley getting some action at his end of the ice. 
That one cleared away. And a pass back to the top of the slot. Pass across goes long and wide. Shelly getting some action. No save yet, no stoppage of play. Puck somewhere back at the corner. Westchester is in possession. There's a shot. Shelly knocks it away. Westchester calling for the puck at the top of the key. Here's a shot. That one blocked away. Shot again. Shelly knocks it away with the pad. And here comes Temple moving up the ice. Temple working the puck. That's Nick Van Allen. Van Allen dumps it in to Luke Brzezowski. Westchester up at the puck. Teen and Senegan getting the centering pass there, moving in, looking for a second goal of the night, but Shelley says no and knocks it away. Temple with pressure once again, moving towards center ice. Westchester with the puck now. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in the second period. That one recovered by the Owls. Immediately given back to the Golden Rams. A lot of turnovers right now, Connor. We're going to have a stoppage of play. Possibly a penalty called by one of the refs. And we're going to see a high stick here. As Ferguson is going to head to the box for two minutes. That's going to be two minutes for high sticking. Not something you want to see here. This penalty will expire by the end of this period, though, so it won't carry over. Two minutes and 22 seconds left. Temple's going to get back to five-on-five five hockey with 22 seconds left in this period, but first they've got to kill this penalty. Penalty kill so far this season, 70.7% .7 of the time. Might want to see that number get a little higher, and right now is the start for it. There's a shot there. The deadly power play for Westchester coming in tonight, 32% effectiveness. Westchester moving the puck around. That one, shot blocked away. Temple getting bodies in front of the puck right now. Another shot goes wide. And that one's cleared all the way down the ice. Westchester scoring on their first power play tonight after Garrett Russell took an interference penalty. Striking on that is number six, Tiernan Senegan. Pressure there by Sean Fowler. Fowler with a hit along the boards. One minute left on this power play for Westchester. Moving into the zone, dumping it off there. Pass to the top of the zone. There's a shot from the side. Goes wide. Shot wasn't lined up there. Looked to be going wide the entire time. Puck behind the net. 30 seconds left on this power play. Under a minute to play in this period. Temple needs a clear. And they're going to get it. That's a clear. Braden Colgan out of his net to pick up the puck for his team. Westchester gets a line change. Temple moving back. Puck is centered there and recovered by the Owls. Here they come with 14 seconds left on the Westchester power play. Looking at a shorthanded goal, something they've been very effective at so far this year. They're going to dump it back and dump it back in. Braden Colgan knocks that one away. The penalty expires and Temple able to kill off their second penalty of the night. Two for three on the penalty kill. Westchester one for three on the power play. And that one Looks like it's gonna be finds the back the of the net, here. but that one's going to be waved off. Possibly a little bit of goaltender interference there. Maybe the net came off of its moorings again. That would not surprise me. <laughs> it looks like we haven't had good luck with the net staying, on their, uh, staying in their position tonight. So, And indeed, that one is going to be waved off. I believe it may have been goaltender interference. It looked like Shelley was kind of rattled after that one. It looked like he fell down to the ice. Westchester and Temple with five men on the ice. Just 7.9 seconds left in this period. 
Connor, we're getting a couple of remarks from you when the horn sounds. But right now, Temple looks to be taking a three to two. They're, they're trailing three to two going into the second intermission. What can your team do differently in the locker room? And what do you think your head coach, Mark Spies, has to say to your team right now? Um, I, th I think you'd be happy with the way that we're performing right now. This is a Temple hockey team that we haven't seen in the past couple of weeks. Um, you know, we're, we're, we improved on a lot of things, and we're looking a lot better than we have. So I don't think there's much to be upset about there. Um, it's just another one of those things where, you know, we go down, we're down one goal going into the third period. Um, you just kind of got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, we're going to do this and go out there and just, you know, all the guys got to perform. The younger guys got to step up, and the uh, I think the veterans need to set a good example, go out there and work hard, and uh, we'll come out of this game with a W. Excellent, Connor. Well, it was a pleasure to have you on the broadcast. Number 52, Temple Hockey. Connor Lordi with us for this second period action. But don't go away. Coming up next, our second intermission report. We're going to toss it back to Taylor Snyder and Jay Niemeyer. And then it will be back for third period action. Jay Niemeyer, myself, JJ Mahalski on the call for third period hockey. Temple Trails Westchester 3-2 headed into the second intermission. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the Old York Ice Rink in North Philadelphia. I am Taylor Snyder here, joined by Jay Niemeyer, bringing you the second intermission report. Number uh, 52 on Temple. Connor Lordy, defenseman, joined us for that second period call. JJ was calling the game with them. Jay, we now take control of the show here. Alrighty. Score is 3-2. Westchester advantage. Shots are all even at 23-23. Yep. Jay, what is going on with Temple tonight? Hockey, good, some good hockey's going on from them tonight. Uh, best hockey we've seen from them in quite a while. Quite right, a while. Shots on goal are all even, I said. Offensive play has been really solid for the Owls. A series of power plays in that period looked really good moving the puck in their own zone. What have you seen out of the Owls on the penalty kill and the power play tonight, Jay? Uh, penalty kill, just keeping, keeping themselves moving in the right spot, blocking when they need to block, keep their feet moving, and get it out as soon as they can on the power play. Uh, they're just they're moving it the right way, getting it. Uh, on deck is a wizard keeping it, uh, and then just moving it around, getting the Westchester to move and getting shots. If they can draw more power, more power plays, play the power play like that, they're they're bound to get some in. Temple doing a great job of limiting Westchester tonight offensively. Not a lot of chances in that period for the Golden Rams, and not a lot of chances for the Owls either. But the Owls, it seems like Jay have almost been a bit more effective in their offensive zone despite being down 3-2 in this game right now. What has Temple got to do to continue this offense tonight and keep the game the way it is? Uh, keep communicating. I'm, I'm sure communication has been a key to uh, how they got where they are tonight. Uh, just keep communicating. Have fun with the game. Uh, they're, they're really in it and just remember that remember that they're in it and that it's they can they can take this as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast Ben Auerbach not in goal tonight Matt Sheely is in goal Sheely number 30 in net Jay been struggling a bit recently tonight playing a great game only giving up three goals made a huge save there in the second period to keep the score the way it is Jay what has Shelly got to do and what has this defense got to do to make Shelly's job as easy as possible in the third period so Temple can pull out a win tonight uh, defense has to limit the shots against him. Uh, I'd say ideally less than uh, 10 in the period. Uh, give him nice, easy job. And Shelly, he just needs to keep his eyes on the puck because when he can see it, he can get in position. He's a nice, tight, concise goaltender. He's really good at technically getting where he needs to be to make the save. Both teams making friends with the penalty box tonight. Seems like no one can stay out of it, but not a lot of goals scored tonight. Like I mentioned, 3-2 right now. Jay, if Temple gets a power play in this period, how important is it for them to score out of the gate to make this 3-3 so Westchester doesn't pull away in this game? I think that's going to have to be their number one focus is getting it, getting it tied because getting back into the game when it's 3-2 is a lot easier than when it's 4 or 5, etc. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, also, Brandon Ondick back in the lineup tonight. Charles Giazza, everyone really getting involved. Temple very mechanically sound tonight on offense. We haven't seen a lot of this out of the Owls this season. What do you think overall is really contributing to this offense tonight, Jay? Do you think it's their skating? Do you think it's their forecheck? Do you think it's their physical play or maybe a combination of all of it? Yeah, I'd say uh, definitely the first two, skating. And when they're skating, they're able to get a good forecheck going on. They're uh, not putting too much energy into the physical play. They're physical when they have to be, but not for the sake of hitting. 
Temple has struggled a lot this season in the neutral zone. Tonight, quite the opposite. Westchester's actually struggling a lot in the neutral zone. Owls doing a great job of defending the puck at the midway point, not letting Westchester get it in their own zone too much. Who do you want the, or who do you see stepping up big in this period for the Owls defensively to keep the game where it is? Trev, you thought it out. He, uh, he's on pretty much every other shift. Uh, he's been great for the Owls. Uh, so it's going to be really him and, uh, I'd say uh, Max Hucker as well. He's uh, shown up pretty well. It's been a long time since Temple won, as I mentioned, trying to snap a losing streak tonight. They're down 3-2 to this one to in-state rival Westchester. If you're Coach Mark Spies right now, what are you telling your team to motivate them and snap this losing streak and walk out of the York with a win tonight? Like I said before, remind them that they are absolutely in this, that they can, they can take this, that being down 3-2 is a much better situation and much easier to overcome than a lot of the games they've been in recently. Absolutely in this indeed. Score is 3-2 Westchester after two. Shots are even at 23. After this intermission, J.J. Michalski and J. Meyer will be back on the call for the third period. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the TU Ice Network for third period action. Here from the rink at Old York Road, back in the booth with me, my colleague Jay Niemeyer. Jay, you watched that second period from over my shoulder. Any thoughts on how the Temple team is improving? I don't know how, but they are improving, yeah. Uh, my, be my best bet is communication, and looks like they're having fun with it. Temple looking to strike early in this one as they trail Westchester 3-2 to two, entering the third. Temple shooting on the far end of the ice again this period. Matt Shelley in the crease for the Owls. Good game for him so far. Only three goals allowed. A little bit below his average. Temple helping him out on defense. Ryan Trevs able to get in front of a lot of pucks and block him away. Temple wins that offensive draw and they dump it behind the net. Into the corner to get the puck. That one batted around. Westchester comes out with it. Moving up the ice now. The Golden Rams looking to get an attack going. That one cleared out by Ondik. Dumped back in. Ondik knocks it away. Ondik looking for Trevs. Gets the pass off. Trevs moves it up the ice to Nick Van Allen. Van Allen back to Ondik. Ondik with the puck now. Moving through the neutral zone. Westchester up the ice now. Temple's back. Good back check by Fowler. Uh, Hucker was a little behind. Uh, Fowler came back in to uh, do the defensive duties there. Fowler with the puck now, moving it up. That one kicks to the outside. Against the boards, and the stick goes flying. We'll see an injured Westchester player here. Down on the ice. Can't catch a number right now. Certainly a result of that hit along the boards. Unfortunate, not what you want to see at all, especially in a game that's this close. No coaches out on the ice right now, just his teammates helping him to get up. Certainly looks to be in a little bit of pain. Mm -hmm. Hopefully no injury. Here come the Temple Medics now coming onto the ice to check up on him. As they make their way to him, he skates off the ice. With the help of his teammates, uh, looks like it was number four. Either 4 or 24, I believe that's number 4, Michael Crowley. Crowley, 11 games played for the Owls this year. One assist, 1 point, 10 penalty minutes for his team. We hope he, be, he is okay as he goes off to the bench there. Temple will see a draw right near their offensive zone. 18 minutes, 42 seconds left in this one. Temple wins the draw there. They're going to... Throw the puck in. Thomas Zimbrecki throws the puck in. Temple recovering now. Looking to get a shot off. Westchester steals it away. The Golden Rams up the ice. That one knocked out of the offensive zone. Good clear there by Ferguson. Ferguson back to get the puck. 93 passes it off there. He finds Andrew Kaiser. To me, like, uh, that's Thomas Zimbrecki on the ice as the other defenseman with uh, Ferguson. Zimbrecki's li listed on the roster as a uh, forward, so 
Uh, interesting coaching decision there, maybe due to, as we said uh, in uh, Coach's Corner, uh, he said that some of the defensemen are down. Ondik dumps that one in. It's gloved up by Braden Colgan. And we're going to see a player go off here after Brendan Ondik made a move towards Braden Colgan there after dumping the puck in, getting a little bit of pressure there. I don't think Ondik interrogated him, though, but we're going to see what this penalty is for. Looks like it's going to be on Westchester, and Temple's going to go on the early power play. That one. Going on number seven, Colby Yaller. Yaller taking his second penalty in just as many periods. Last period, taking a boarding penalty. Temple is struck once on the power play in this game. Their top unit out there right now. They're going to go on the PubWeb power play for the one, two, three, four, fifth, sixth time tonight. That's certainly you want to see. Jay, you talked a little bit about the power play during the intermission report. We'll get back to that in a second. As Temple wins that offensive draw, they move the puck down. Moving the puck towards the net there. And that one's going to be frozen by Braden Colgan. As I was saying, Jay, you spoke a little bit about getting the early power play in this period. What are your thoughts now that Temple does have that opportunity? I mean, I think they started this uh, power play well, get it, get the win on the on the draw, get it to Trash, Trash will walk the blue line and then throw it in and uh, get more of that uh, and should be in good shape. Andrew Kaiser loses that offensive draw, but the puck's knocked down. Temple recovers. Temple with the puck now. Giazza moving towards the corner. Dumps it behind the net. Ondik in on the puck. Ondik and Van Allen working the corner. Giazza now goes up to get the puck. Throws it to the top. That one to Trev. Trev's back to Giazza. Giazza centering pass. Westchester fans on the clear. They'll now move it back into their own defensive zone rather than taking the clear down the ice. One minute and ten seconds left on this power play for the Owls. Westchester still unable to clear. Now they will, but Trevs keeps it in. Ondik with the puck. Back to Trevs. Trevs from the top. Looking at a shot off. No shot yet. Back to Giazza. Giazza to Trevs. Trevs to Ondik. Pass back out to Ondik there. Ondik to the top. 45 seconds left. Shot there is blocked away. Giazza's pass knocked away there. Westchester with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity now. And Good Shelley on. says no, blocks his post. And keeps this a 3-2 game. Temple keeping their number one unit out there for all two minutes of this power play. Some tired legs out there. And they're going to look on the youngsters to step up once this power play is complete. Just 20 seconds left now as Westchester gets an offensive opportunity. Giazza with the check there. On to gets the puck. 14 seconds left being told to go by his coach from the bench. That one cleared away. No icing call as it was tipped. And Trevs is back. Nice save there by Shelley. The power play has expired. Temple with a good power play though, getting lots of puck movement around. Yeah, I was especially impressed with how Trevs was able to move across that blue line. And there's a shot that goes to the side of the net. Net looks to be a little crooked to me right now. We've seen a lot of a, a lot of the net coming off of its moorings tonight. Westchester yeah, pushes the puck to the top there. That one oh, knocked down by Kaiser. Kaiser looks eight. to be hurt on that one. Still skating around on the ice, trying to shake it off. Trev's tripped up a little bit there. Shelley's going to take the freeze to get Kaiser off the ice. Kaiser certainly looks to be in pain after taking that block shot. But you know what they say, Jay. Take one for the team. Yeah, I'm, hopefully he's fine and can come back out there. But yeah, he's gonna he's gonna sit, maybe swear a little bit, let it stop hurting. Second line out for the Owls now. Burchowski loses that draw, but it's blocked away. Temple getting bodies in front of the puck right now. Burchowski with the recovery. Along the boards there. Garrett Elmer gets a clear. Unable to actually clear it though. Diving attempt there by the Owls. 
Krzyzewski and both, both went down for the dive. There's a shot that finds the lower corner beating Shelley. That one, finding the low left corner. Westchester goes up in this game, four to two. First to receive handshakes along the bench. That's number 23, Ryan Hollingshead. That will be his first goal of the season in this one. So Hollingshead and Derek Zerby both picking up their first goal of the season tonight against the Owls. Shelly trying to get out there as Jared Giovon's stick is on the ice. Giovon picks it up. Everything good now. Ferguson out there for the Owls on defense. Westchester trying to build off this momentum. Temple looking to get a goal back. There's a huge hit there on John Dern. Westchester pushes the puck to the top. That shot goes wide. That shot goes high and wide of Shelley. And we're gonna see a goalie being pulled here as a delayed penalty was being called. Shelley will come back to his net. Temple's gonna go back on the PubWeb power play for the seventh time tonight. Going to the box, number 12, Mike O'Brien. O'Brien staying out of the box for the most part this year, serving only four penalty minutes coming into tonight. And that's going to be two minutes, and two minutes that the Owls need on the power play. Oh, they absolutely need this. Uh, they're behind on the scoreboard, behind on uh, shot total as well, so this is going to be a big power play for them. That puck high up in the air now, not catching any of these pipes that lay above the ice. Here at the rink at Old York Road, Trev's now back with the puck, dumping it off for Andrew Kaiser. Kaiser, moving the puck up now to Giazza. Giazza unable to get that pass off the boards. Kaiser knocking it down now, recovering the puck and moving it back to Ondik. Ondik now with the puck, moving out of his defensive zone and up the ice very quickly. No shots yet for the Owls on this power play as they struggle to keep possession. 40 seconds in, 118 left on the power play. Here's a chance for the Owls. Ondik with the puck. Moves it towards the center. There's a shot for the Owls. That one blocked away. Pass there. Trev's with the puck. Out to Giazza. Giazza centering pass. Blocked uh, away. That one a little bit too much. Uh, Westchester need to anticipate that uh, centering pass. Into the corner. Westchester looking to clear. Knocks off a body and then off the glass and is cleared all the way down. Trev's. Back to get the puck for his team. As Derek Zerby hits the boards there with a good chance to get the puck. He looks to be injured right now after going down. Yeah, looks like he, Temple uh, with a five on three opportunity. Hard. They need to take advantage of this. There's a shot. And that one's gloved by Braden Colgan. Yeah, just unlucky for Zerby there. He uh, must have caught a rut in the ice as he was trying to uh, come down into Temple's zone. Uh, just 20 seconds yeah. left on this power play now. Here comes Westchester out of the zone. Trevs is there to push it back in, though. Puck thrown back up to Ondik. Ondik across the ice. That one almost finds the back of the net. Trevs saves it again. Power play still on for the Owls. And I don't know how the Owls didn't find the back of the net on that one, Jay. They had a whole side of the net open. And here comes Westchester, three on one right now. Now with defensive support for Shelley. There's a shot, Shelley sits right on top of that one. Took him a while to figure out where that one was. We'll see a stoppage of play. Head. Westchester currently leading this game four to two, leading in shots 31 to 30. Conversation in front of the net there is Ondik 
And Joey Kubaka get into it. Two of the most offensive players in this game as Kubaka leads his team in goals this season. Prochowski going down to the ice. Ian Bowles in to save the day. Westchester with the puck now, dumping it behind the net. Back to get it is Max Hucker. Berchowski looking to win the puck. Across the bowls. Berchowski down on the ice right now. Taking a minute to get up and he'll skate to the bench. So now the third hurt player in the past couple of minutes we've seen on this ice. Berchowski not going to the bench, rather just taking a moment to gather himself. Jay, what's one thing Temple needs to do better in these last 11 minutes of gameplay? Uh, get back to the communication uh, and getting it to where you can... Uh, sorry, I got distracted because uh, Berzowski did decide to go off the ice. Uh, hopefully that's in his best interest to just take a moment and gather himself. Um, but what Temple needs to do is get get the board battle and start winning those because uh, that's how Westchester is able to uh, keep hold of the puck and keep those on time. Shot there goes wide of Shelley. Thomas Pinella out on the ice right now. Someone we don't normally see. Pinella gets knocked to the ground there. Trying to take a hit. That puck thrown across to Pinella but goes long of his stick. Icing waved off. Gracious bounce there for the Owls. Unable to get a shot off. That was certainly one of their best opportunities on Pinella a gracious bounce. Great spot for that. We saw two of those goals last weekend, Jay, as Villanova picked them up, hitting off the back board and getting past Shelley. None of that tonight. No bounces like that. Here's Temple with another opportunity. Once again, right in, right in front of the net. Play is frozen, and we're going to see a couple of players go after each other. Westchester not happy right now with Temple crowding the crease when the whistle's been blown. I believe that Braden Hogan went after one of the Temple players, possibly not, not entirely sure of who it might have been down there. I know him and Ondik have been going a little bit back and forth. Mm, but I think it uh, could have been uh, Garrett Elmer, uh, who did score earlier in the game. Regardless, Giazza in to take the offensive draw for the Owls now. And he wins that one. is certainly needing to step up right now and find a goal for this team that he captains. And here's a good chance for the Owls. Trev's with the puck. Now Westchester gets possession. But Temple gets the puck right back as it's dumped into the zone. And here come the Golden Rams up the ice. Shelly off of his crease. Little bit of a move there. Oh, very good by Russell. Uh, and that, clear that out. Crashing into the net there. Number 24, Leo Flick. Shelly hitting the net. Flick hitting the net. The net off of its moorings once again. We have a stoppage of play with 9.35 left in the third period. Left in this game. Westchester on top, four to two. Temple on shot, on top in shots, 32-31. Temple trying to break their eight game losing streak right now. Westchester coming off a two to one loss against Delaware last Saturday on October 27th. Last Friday night, they beat Towson six to two. Here's Westchester with an opportunity. Towson is uh, Temple's most recent opponent. Uh, Temple went on the road to Towson uh, last week after uh, their Villanova loss. They lost 3-0. Uh, so step in the right direction, maybe in terms of uh, fewer goals against, but uh, also no goals scored. Ref getting in front of the puck on that one as Ryan Trebs was back. We're going to see a nice board pin here by Andrew Kaiser. Kaiser and Trevs working in the corner to get the puck for their team. 
Trev's an assistant captain on this team. There's a shot knocked away by Trev's. Trev's has been excellent on defense so far, but here's Westchester with a chance. Shelly knocks that one away with the glove. And the ref blows his whistle, but no stoppage in play there. Killing the momentum for Westchester. They're all very lucky to uh, have the ref think that one was a covered puck. Temple out on the ice right now with Andrew Kaiser in the faceoff circle. Trev's on Dick. Kyle Smedley and Sean Fowler. The Owls win that one. Trev's into the corner, loses the puck. Kaiser working the middle now. Trev's get the clear there. That's gonna go down for icing. No icing, waved off by the ref. On Dick into the corner, looking for the puck. Really good defensive teamwork by uh, Kaiser and Trev's. Kaiser taking the body and uh, Trev's just coming in behind and uh, clearing that puck out of there. Another dangerous play there by Braden Colling. Colgan as he comes out of his net. He's done that a lot tonight. Certainly a good thing to be aggressive as a goalie, but sometimes that can come back to bite you. Temple gets the recovery there. On Dick up the ice now. On Dick looking at a shot off. No shot there. That puck hits the pipes above the rink. We'll see a face-off somewhere in the neutral zone. Jay, coming into tonight, this Westchester hockey team, 42 goals for, 35 goals against this Temple hockey team, 48 goals for, and the bad statistic for the Owls, 89 goals against mm -hmm. at the bottom of the food chain there in the ACHA on goals against for the Owls. Temple with the puck now, getting a shot off there. That puck cleared out of the zone. Seven minutes left in this game. Puck is dumped in. Temple back to play along the boards. So that one's cleared down. Maybe an offsides call there that wasn't called. There's a centering pass intercepted by the Owls. Temple up the ice now. Spot. Temple dumping the puck in, playing dump and run hockey right now. Getting back to a little bit of an old tactic. Here's oh. a chance in the middle of the ice. Just Don't unlucky know if for uh, Green. Uh, if he could have corralled that, that could have been a great one-time shot. Don't know if Braden Colgan would have been ready for it either. Here's Giazza shot. That one's blocked away with the blo with the pad. Stoppage play here. Shots tied up. 34-34. But Westchester leading where it matters. Four to two. Six minutes, 28 seconds left in this one. One of the top lines out for the Owls now. And they're putting their top defensive pairing back on too. So Temple with their number one lines out all around, looking to strike and get this goal. It's not impossible to get past Braden Colgan. His save percentage coming into tonight, 917, but the Owls have been able to score on him twice. Great block by Treps there. He was just keeping with his player and he was able to be close enough to, to get that important block. Colgan giving up three or three or fewer, excuse me, two or fewer goals in the last three games for this Westchester team. Temple right now sits with two goals with five minutes, 45 seconds left in the game. They're looking to tie this one up. Only a matter of time before I think we see Matt Shelley come out of goal and Temple get the extra attacker on as that one goes down for icing. Yeah, that was something I was thinking about too, is uh, when, when Mark Spies makes that decision to take Shelly out and uh, go for the six attackers. 
Jay, a little bit of a less rambunctious crowd that we saw last weekend against Villanova. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's playing into this one at all? Uh, I'm not sure because this game, the performance of this game has actually been a lot sharper than the Villanova game. Um, I think that the crowd... There's a shot on goal that's gloved up. Excuse me, continue. Uh, I think that last week's crowd at Villanova uh, was really feeding on the uh, aggressive energy more so than the actual uh, flow of the game in terms of how Temple was playing. This is a game where we've seen Temple keep their tempers under control, staying out of the penalty box. They've only gone to the box three or so times tonight. That's certainly something that Temple needed to get better at, and they have. Their defense looks fantastic right now. And the puck is dumped out of the zone there. Sean Fowler on the play for the Owls. Kyle Smedley moving the puck across the ice. Puck moved back to Smedley. Smedley up, looking for Ondick. Ondick with the puck, passing it into the zone. Deflection there, no icing. Westchester moving into the corner, pushing up the ice. Temple gets a recovery. Dumped along the boards by Andrew Kaiser. Kaiser trying to get the puck back. That puck. Dumped low for Michael Petri Sioni. And that puck oh, great going up him. there. We're going to see a penalty here as Temple hit the ice. Goalie to the bench for the Owls. Extra attacker on. Not sure why they uh, and blew the Even though there. Temple has possession, the ref blows the play dead. Interesting decision by the ref there to blow it dead. Uh, not sure how Temple's going to feel about that. We're going to see number 28, Curtis, Brand Brandon Curtis, excuse me, go to the box on this one for two minutes. Temple takes a timeout. Interesting tactic by Mark Spies. Jay, what do you want to see happen for Temple in these last four minutes and 15 seconds? What are you telling your team right now over there on the bench? Play the whole four minutes like it's a power play. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they make the decision to pull Shaley uh, either during or right after the power play to get that uh, two, that uh, additional advantage uh, so they can keep it within the zone, and if it's in the zone, you can keep shooting, keep shooting. Absolutely, Jay. Shelley has been great in goal for the Owls tonight. He stopped a offense that scored 42 goals so far this year. And he's only allowed them to score four times. He struggled a little bit at home so far this season. We've seen a few games, teams getting up to somewhere around 10 goals, mm -hmm. but certainly getting more settled between the posts tonight. Top line out there for the Owls in this power play. Two minutes. Curtis, Brandon Curtis going to the box for Westchester. That one looks to be cleared out. Westchester unable to clear. Giazza with the puck now. Giazza moving it to the corner. Back to Giazza. Giazza looking for Trevs. Trevs at the top. Ryan Trevs moves it outside. Trevs passing to Ondik. Ondik behind the net. Shot there for Giazza. Finds the back of oh, the net. Very nice by Giazza. And that's the way to move the puck around. Charles Giazza finding the back of the net for his 13th goal of the year, his second tonight. Temple now trails in this game 4 to 3. That one coming on the PubWeb power play 18 seconds in. And certainly now a question, when do you pull goaltender Matt Shelley to get the extra attacker out there? As soon, I would, if I were Spies, I would pull Shelley as soon as they always have possession in, uh, in Westchester's zone. The last goal coming for the Owls. For number 84, Garrett Elmer with 16 minutes left in the second period. Last time they held a lead was early on in the first after Charles Giazza's first goal. Here's a chance for the Owls. Uh, looks like that was number 25, Nick Van Allen, with that chance. He's uh, had some pretty good chances tonight, uh, just not quite able to get it home. That one 
into the zone. Three minutes, 20 seconds left in this game. Temple putting everything they got out there right now. First line, couple of them still out there for the Owls. Trev still out there. Giazza still out there as he moves the puck across. Excuse me, that's not Giazza. Kyle Smedley, that was. Temple's going to get a couple of fresh legs out here. And in the middle of the ice, that's Fowler looking for the puck. He was calling for it early, coming off the bench, unable to get the puck. Westchester looking to push out now. Fowler with a lot of pressure. And Temple cannot afford to take a penalty right now. They need to be very careful about what they're doing. Good defense there by Trevs. Trev's one of the best defensemen on this Temple team. He was out for a couple of weeks. Back now, this, this Temple team has been solid on defense tonight as they push into the offensive zone. That one saved there by Ondik. Ondik throws it in. Pass back out. Temple with the puck now. Westchester gets possession of it. Looking for the centering pass. That one pulled back. Shot and knocked away by Shelley. Two minutes left in this game. Pass low there. They're going to go for the wraparound. Temple takes it. Need to have Ian Bowles is uh, not in a great spot right now. He needs to be on that player on the backside, number six. Ian Bowles does get there. That one's dumped in, blocked away by Bowles. Here's Ondick with a two-on-two -two opportunity. He's going to take the puck. Moving in, looking for a shot. There's a shot that hits off the stomach of the Westchester goalkeeper. That one dumped in for Trevs. Trevs pushing it along the boards. That one's dumped in. Shot around the net. Lots of people there. A pile of bodies. One minute, 24 seconds left. We're going to have a stoppage of play. Temple trailing Westchester. Four to three. Temple currently leading 40 to 35 on shots. We're going to see Matt Shelley hit the bench. Temple with the extra attacker out. One minute, 24 seconds left. Temple's going to get a power play-esque opportunity here with the extra man on the ice. The extra man going on. Let's see. We've got on deck. We've Top got line out there, I think, uh, Fowler along with be Fowler the extra. as the extra man. And he's earned it. Westchester wins that draw. Temple needs to get the puck back. They clear that one out. Ryan Trev saves it. Trevs across the ice to Ondik. Ondik throws it in. Back to Westchester. The Golden Rams with the puck. That one knocked down. Giazza moves it to the outside. Temple looking to set something up. The clock not running right now. That one dumped to the outside of the zone. The clock was not moving here at the rink. I don't know how they're going to adjust for that. One minute and 12 seconds right now, it says on the board. Temple moving up the ice. Ondik throws that one in again. And an attempted save there. That one comes down the ice, bounces off. We have icing. 53 seconds left in this game, according to the scoreboard. The refs meeting near mid-ice right now to discuss, I believe, the clock issue. They're going to talk to the scoreboard operator. 4-3, to three, Westchester leads this one. Temple with the extra attacker on right now. Matt Shelley taking a seat on the bench. They're going to run the clock down right now. They run it down to 45 seconds left in this game. 45 seconds left for the Owls to score and tie this one up. Andrew Kaiser in to take the draw for the Owls. Temple wins the puck in the offensive zone. Westchester looks to get a clear, and they will. Now Trevs has to play defense, unable to. Looking at the wraparound. Giazza says no. And we're gonna see Temple take a penalty here with 30 seconds left in the game. That's gonna kill, pretty much kill their chances of tying this up. 
going to the box. Number 16, Ryan Trevs. Trevs taking his first penalty of the year here, according to my notes. And a bad time to take that penalty for the Owls. Shelley back in goal. A five on four opportunity for the 29th best power play unit in the ACHA. Westchester looking to finish this game off. Five players on the ice for them, four players on the ice for Temple. If they look to, if Temple wants to tie this game up, they're gonna need to do it on the Richie's penalty kill. That one cleared down by Ondik. He throws it towards the goal. And Shelly looks like he's coming off. Shelly so off for the Owls. Five on five hockey right now. That shot score, blocked it'll, away. If it'll, Under if 10 score, seconds left. It'll technically be a shorthanded goal. The Owls have four this season already. Three seconds, two seconds. This game's going to come to an end with a pile in the corner. Temple falls to Westchester for a second time this season. Four to three. And their losing streak continues. It extends to nine tonight. But certainly a different team that we've seen tonight. Temple and Westchester getting into it in the corner there. The game had been pretty uh, pretty quiet in terms of uh, unpleasantness uh, most of the way. And I guess Temple just uh, got a bit too frustrated at the end there. Temple back in action tomorrow, Jay. They're going to travel to Drexel. Last matchup against Drexel. Temple was at home. They lost that game 7-2. to two. Westchester will be back in action tomorrow as well. They're going to be back at home versus the Oswego State University. And both these teams coming off the ice tonight. Very hard-fought game. Mm -hmm. And Temple looked at leaders like Charles Giazza, who picked up two goals in this game. Another goal coming from Garrett Elmer. A great goal in a great game in goal for Matt Shelley tonight. But you and Taylor Schneider will have more to say about that in our post-game report. We're here at the rink at Old York Ice. Thank you for joining us tonight. My name's JJ Mahalski. Temple falls in this one, four to three. They continue their slide, but certainly a step in the right direction on this one. Thank you for joining us tonight on the TU Ice Network. Have a good night, everyone. Hello and welcome back everyone. JJ Mahalski, Jay Niemeyer here in the box. And Jay, a game that we saw a lot of progress for the Owls tonight. Absolutely. We talked a lot during the second period about the improvement of this team's morale. Yesterday they said they hung out a lot at their house. How do you think that affected what we saw on the ice tonight? They look like they were having fun with it. And when you're having fun with hockey, uh, you're gonna be a little, more, a little more loose, just better. You're just better when you're when you're happy to be playing. This team certainly Temple team certainly frustrated losing this game in a very close one, four to three on the scoreboard, leading in shots 41-36 at the end of the day. We saw Westchester and Temple getting into it a little bit after the game, mm -hmm. emotions carrying over. How does this game affect the team moving on? Uh, I mean, they should. I think they should look at it positively. Uh, compared to their most of their games in this losing streak, this was tight. They were, really they were in it until the very end, and that hasn't been the case for a lot of their season. Matt Shelley, excellent in goal for the mm -hmm. Owls tonight. Any comments on him? Um, Just ev what I've been saying before, he's very, very tight, very good at controlling his rebounds, and just being on, on the spot he needs to be on. Excellent. All right, that'll do it tonight from the rink at Old York Road. Again, I'm JJ Mahalski, your play-by-play -play announcer for the night, Jay Niemeyer, on color. And that'll do it for tonight. That's a wrap. Temple loses this one 4-3 to three versus Westchester. Chester, they fall to them for the second time this year. Thanks for joining us on the TU Ice Network, everyone. Have a good night. Good night, guys.